Push handles forward now. Please push your handles forward now and enjoy your ride. Thank you. Please push your handles forward now. Oh. Oh, this is the worst part right here. It's really high. Ah! Oh, I hate this part. I'm back in Tennessee to ride what is advertised as the second longest mountain coaster in America. And it was actually the first mountain coaster in the Smoky Mountains. This time, I'm determined to go much faster, maybe even top speed. I also encourage you to watch to the end as I'll let you know how you can save some money if you want to come do this for yourself. But if you want to take a ride, all you got to do is come along with me. Today, the family and I are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. Now, last time we were here, these two went pretty much full speed on this ride, where I, on the other hand, went, well, see for yourself. Ooh. Oh my God, this is terrifying right here. Holy crap. Oh my God. I'm pulling the brakes, I can't do it full speed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh, Jesus. After that video came out, there are a lot of comments from people saying, I shouldn't ride this if I don't like coasters. But the funny thing is, I do like coasters, I just don't like heights. But coincidentally, those two things go hand in hand. That's why I'm determined to ride this mountain coaster how it should be ridden. And we're off. In all honesty, this is my favorite part of the ride, the lift hill. It's a nice, relaxing ride. Slow, peaceful, scenic. And it's the calm before the storm. Feel free to comment down below. Pause the video. Tell, tell me in the comments, do you think I'm going to do much better? Do you think I'm going to chicken out and get scared and go slow again? Hopefully that's not the case. Now we really start climbing the elevation. You can also ride this at night time as there is LED illumination along the course. <clears throat> and they advertise it that there's over one mile in length of track. Don't forget, stay tuned till the end. I'll let you know how you can save some money and what you could do if you want to ride it again, how you could save some money for that as well. This attraction just opened, it's just after 10 a.m. We are here at the end of March. It's around 50 degrees right now. About a three to five mile per hour breeze. So it's a gorgeous day here in the Smoky Mountains. 
Basically like a giant tow rope like you would see at a ski resort. There's actually lights on our ride vehicles too. There's a headlight and a tail light. So nighttime riding, you can at least see a little bit of where you're going. And if you're watching from a distance, you can see them coming down the mountain. You may try that in the future. Are actually popping. We're up so high now, and we're nearly at the top. And there goes Jill. <laughs> She's already yelling. I know some people go full speed the entire way. I don't plan on doing that, but I do plan on going full speed few times. Push handles forward now. Please push your handles forward now and enjoy your ride. Thank you. Please push your handles forward now. Oh. I'm going full speed right now. Oh boy. Handles are all the way down. Woo. Oh. All right, slowing down a little bit here. Oh boy, still full speed all the way down. Whoa, oh, that's nerve wracking. Whoa, handles are still all the way down. Ah! Oh, sharp turn, sharp turn. I gotta slow down a little bit here. Oh boy. All right, back down to full speed. 360. Ah. What's that noise? I don't like that noise. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. This is fast. Holy crap. Wow. Oh. All right. Still alive. Still doing it. Oh, this is the worst part right here. It's really high. Ah. Oh, I hate this part. All right, I'm through it. Oh, another scary part here. Oh, God. Uh, back down to full speed. Oh, holy crap, that's fast. Oh, oh. okay, it's slowing me down now. Oh. oh, we survived. I redeemed myself. Oh. Please keep your hand down. I made it. Adrenaline is flowing, as were my nerves. I did it.
want you away from me I need you to stay right there I'm coming right away, my dear I tried this, tried that, tried everything Coming right back, right back Want you away from me I need you to stay right there I'm coming right away, my dear So I don't know how it happened, but Lil's right there and Jill is right there. They're riding again. I was told to get off. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but they were able to stay on and they're riding a second time completely for free. How'd that happen? That's not fair. <laughs> Thumbs up. Enjoy your ride! Oh, well, as you heard, I was kind of screaming and yelling like a wuss, but that's okay. I have no problem with that because I actually redeemed myself. I went out of my comfort zone and went much faster than the last time, went full speed in several sections. I actually would feel confident kind of holding the bars down, going full speed the entire way. First time, obviously, it was a different story, but this time, I just threw caution to the wind. I'm like, this is a safe ride. You're seat belted in. There's no way you're gonna fall off. But there was some noises I didn't like. And some of those high curves were a bit daunting, but I still did it. A few things I wanna mention. You can't film on this ride unless you have this. A three point harness with your action camera. They don't allow smartphones, uh, cameras on your head, like a head mount or a wrist mount. This is the only acceptable way to film. If you don't have that, they won't let you do it. You're not allowed to bring anything on the ride as far as phones, purses, bags, anything that can fly off. I have my phone, but it was zippered in my pocket, but you have to have both hands on the controls. So that's the first thing you need to know. If you want to come do this, there's a great deal. We did it last time. It's still available now. We did it this time. On the Groupon site, there's a two for one deal. You get two rides for the price of one. So we paid for two of them and we got four rides. So even though they're riding again for free somehow, we still have another ticket to ride once more. Next up, save your ticket, because if you want to ride again, you show your ticket, you can ride again for just $10. So if you do get off like I did, and you want to get back on, or whoever you're with wants to ride one more time, you could do so for just an additional $10 fee. So you could definitely get your money's worth coming here. Now, this is not the biggest in the world, not the longest in the world, but it's the second longest in America, and it's the first mountain coaster in the Smoky Mountains. There are numerous mountain coasters in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area. This one happens to be my favorite, and maybe because it's the first one I ever rode here. I did ride one other one before, but this one I really enjoy. The look tail is my favorite part. You get some nice scenic views, and whether you ride daytime or nighttime, it's a great experience. It does get busy though. We came here just before it opened and it's open all day and there's usually lines all day. So plan accordingly. And I don't know if they operate in rainy weather, but I do recommend coming when it opens or later towards the night when it's just before closing. Probably have the better chance of not getting stuck in a long line.
Otherwise, I would love to hear your thoughts on what you thought of my second experience five years later riding the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster, which originally was a terrifying experience. This time was loads of fun. Anyways, thanks for coming along with me for this fun experience. Hope you enjoyed your ride as well. And to see more Tennessee related videos, check the playlist down below. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.